the Arceus are back. I mean, this game is so good! Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Believe it or not, we're not ready for Arcana Castle. We need a little something at Clock Town. You know those powder kegs? Yeah, we actually need one of those. So you can actually go through the entire dungeon, come across the spot that you need the powder keg, find out did you have to leave the dungeon, and then go back in. Isn't this game fun? <laughs> so, since I know exactly what I need, and I actually should have the power of the Goron here. There we go, because the Goron, they're not going to sell it to any sort of human, because humans can't use the powder kegs, I, I guess. Probably discrimination again. <laughs> Hey, how's it going there, Bomb Shop Goron? Oh, of all places! You're a Goron, so you should be able to carry a powder keg, right? So won't you buy a powder keg for 50 rupees? Sure! There you go. I thought it was 100, actually. Hmm. Well, 50 is better than 100. Powder kegs made by my instructor are extremely powerful. Come back and see me if you run out. Will do. But I'm... I, I'm not going to. <laughs> I think this is going to be the uh, only other time in the game we're going to need a powder keg, if I recall correctly. Go, oh, come on, cursor, there we go, Arcana Canyon. And now, we can finally start the Arcana Castle. <laughs> sort of, kind of, I mean, yeah, you know, this is, you know, it might, it might decide to freeze, you never know. Alright, let's cross the valley of low frame rates. Actually, it's not that low at the moment. It's, not <laughs> it's It's been lower, I assure you. So yeah, remember, if you don't have the, uh, I mean, if you already did the, I mean, if you didn't do the block thing here already, just whack the switch, just flip the camera around, get to the edge, reflect the light on the block that's over here, the sun block, and then it'll open up for you, and then you can enter the place. Uh, oh, I need, I need this, so that I can speak to the Garo that are hanging around these parts somewhere around here. I'm just gonna take a look-see around and explore, just to see where those Garo might be. And by the way, there's the heart piece that I was talking to you about. That you've actually gotta do something inconvenient. You've actually gotta jump over to that heart piece after doing a little sequence of events type thing and then jump down from it and basically start the dungeon trek all over again. <laughs> okay, maybe it's, well, it's not that inconvenient. There's my girlfriend. friend. I mean, because we're, when we get up there, we're gonna have a place open to get up there relatively quickly. Uh, I am, I am, a, I am friendly. Very friendly. By the way, this circle of fire is pretty small in here. Not that it's difficult to defeat them, regardless of the size, but yeah, so he's gonna say, and entering a Connor Castle is another secret about her auto perk. I. 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 Ah! Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's, let's just take a peek see around this side. By the way, there's, uh. There's like this channel that's going around here, but I don't, I don't know what that channel is all about. It's just kind of hanging out there. It's like detailing or something. I just, <laughs> oh shoot, oh shoot, oh, 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 okay, there we go. The camera got me all turned around, there we go. Alright, what hints do you have that I already know this time? It is the Reed Deads and Arcana were once members of the castle's dancing troupe. Well, this is actually something I'd like to definitely show you. <laughs> it's it's epic. It's probably the best thing that is in this entire game. I'm not kidding you. It. <laughs> so anyway, there's stuff that you can resupply with over here. Oh wait! Oh, I grabbed the fairy of a mistake. Well, well, hopefully I won't need that. I probably won't. I got 16 hearts worth of health, that double health, so I, I should probably be fine at this point. If I'm not, well, that would be... it's, it's kind of embarrassing. Anyway, <laughs> let's just actually go inside now that I've explored the courtyard of sorts. And here we go, because I'm, I'm wearing this mask. They do the dance! Yes! The dance! Woohoohoo! Look at them go! They have different kinds of dances too, but if I take it off, they'll be like, oh. If I put on this mask, you'll be like, yeah! So it works with both these masks, basically. <laughs> Woo! 
So yeah, as long as I've got this on, they're not gonna hurt you. And I can now do a tattle here. Read that if it catches you in its paralyzing glare, you won't be able to move or shake it off if you get caught. So it's basically like the Gipto. Exactly like the Gipto. And uh, it's it's even easier to kill when you have this mask on. Yeah. <laughs> I can regain some of those rupees that I got, so... Yeah, there's a sunblock over there, and there's two barred gates, so what what, what can we do with said barred gates? Well, if you take a look around here in first-person view, I do believe... Yes, I need that, so I'll just get that out right away. Oh, oh I need the fire arrows! <laughs> I was close! I had the bow, but I didn't have the fire. And open says me... Wah! It opens a path. I think there's another one over... Uh, yeah, there's one on the other side here. I might as well just kind of flip that over. Because I'll, I, I'll know which path that I came from anyway. I don't remember which one I want to take first, though, so... I think I'll just take this one. Looking at the map there, it's not that big of an area or anything like that, so it's not that difficult to, like, trek back to where you were and... Oh... Oh uh, yeah, the forest temple squishing puzzle. By the way, on top of this is like a burning block or something that actually hurts you for some reason. But anyway, if you hit this, it'll go up temporarily and you'll be able to go over to where there's a spot that there's an open hole or something like that. In this case, I would need to be a uh, Deku for one thing. And uh, yeah, let's just get ourselves into position. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot that happens. <laughs> I forgot that you'll actually be able to pull- Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh- Up, I got squished. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, you, you knocked me even out of my Deku form, really? Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> I was messing around there too much. You're just supposed to go all the way over to this one here. And then, wait for it to pop down so we can pop it back up. That just gives you a maximum amount of time. Then go up over to the switch. There we go. Go! I will land on this now that I have more weights, and uh, I think I can make this jump. Yes, and this switch is just to go back, basically. Yeah, nothing really super important there. Alrighty. Oh yeah, the mine room. Uh, there's also Skulltulas hanging out around here. Um, let's see here. Let's see. First off, obviously, you gotta take care of our. Spidery friends. Yep. I think there's a uh, yeah. There's another one hanging out over there, but I can, I'm just not at the right angle here. Oh, there's two of them. Oh yeah. There we go. Swap forms and we're off. Uh, I probably want to go over to that switch. Probably. It's probably a good idea. <laughs> okay, it opens that door on the other side of the room. Can I make this jump? I do believe I can! Woo -hoo -hoo! I didn't! <laughs> uh, how did I get back from there when I hit that switch before? I kind of forgot. I'm pretty sure that jump was possible. I don't want to kill the Skulltulas again until I uh, figure my way back across this jump here. Or figure my way out back across this jump here. Like, was there a hookshot target or...? No, I guess not. Maybe I just did it wrong. Oh, I did it wrong. <laughs> I just kind of glitched myself up there. <laughs> or something, I don't know. Alright, there we go. I will be taking both paths, um, no matter what, by the way, so... Oh, jeez, the finicky. <laughs> so don't, uh, oops, I was getting button happy there. So don't, uh, think that I'm just gonna take one path. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll do both. I'll do both. Oh, there's a fairy, there you go. Uh, oh, I still got that fairy from the, the well that I thought I needed. Oh, well, now I got two! <laughs> I could have swore I needed a fairy back at that well before. Maybe the, uh, oops. Maybe the, um, items that they want are somewhat random? I don't know. Um, wait, actually, I should have that. Um, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> uh, yeah, the mine room is a room full of mines, of course. <laughs> I just like to kind of navigate this without having too much ire. There we go. You know, you can blow up the mines like I showed you before by bumping them into each other, but it's not really necessary. All right, let's move up. Let's move on. And here we are, the blue bubble room. Ooh. Yeah, if you shield yourself, you'll be able to uh, uh, stop their assault on your body. Okay. 
And I didn't even get cursed, so I don't have to play the Song of Storms. Heck yeah. Floor number two. Even though the map looks virtually the same. There we go. Uh, this is the place that I need the powder keg, actually. Uh, but I'm not on the right side. This, this place right here is for the... Uh, heart piece. So I did indeed take the correct place, I mean, did I, I did indeed take the correct path first, because I didn't want to take the correct path, I mean, until actual progress progress first, because that would have just wasted time, because I'm going to have to jump down anyway. <laughs> oh jeez, I'm too close, yep. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, you get, you get a whip, you get, there we go. Oh. Huh? Um, oh, there we go. I was a little bit worried there that that, that, yeah, if you wouldn't have respawned there, that could have been me being stuck in this circle for all of eternity. <laughs> to counter the rage of the king of Akana Castle, burn away that which disrupts the light and shine the sacred rays on the king. So, fire arrows plus shield. Anyway, oops. Oh, wait, actually, I do need that. Um, oh, wait, actually, when do I need this? Hold on. Um... Because I need, I need, I want to get over to there, to there, and then to the heart piece, and then jump down to the courtyard, and then start my cycle anew, basically. Uh, to an extent. Hold on a sec. Maybe I can do this first, and then come back. Hold on. Because I, I'd still have to hit the switch for sure. Uh, so I'm at the very least gonna probably have to come up here twice. <laughs> Okay, so that opens a hole. That what is that hole for? That's for the central room, actually. Okay. Um. Ah, there we go. You know that central room that we were there with the dancing reduds? Yeah. Okay, so back over we go. I just did not want to do that hard piece until I was absolutely ready for it. See, now the other path, um, it leads you to this side right over here. And, oh, oh, you're on the other side of the... How you, how you like those apples? Oh, you're going over. <laughs> I was going to say, how do you like those apples? But you're smart enough to get past that seemingly insurmountable obstacle for most other flying enemies. <laughs> it's true, crows really are smart. Okay, now, I want to get myself into position, because I don't want to do this twice. <laughs> for, for obvious reasons. Okay, here we go. Whack that. I gotta jump onto that over there. Ready? Steady, go! Okay. Change the Deku form because this this is timed here. So uh, if you get burned by the fire, you're gonna have to restart this. So you're not gonna be happy with that. So let's just kinda do this in one shot, shall we? I think that's a good idea. There we go. I had practice from that moving platform minigame way on the early parts of the walkthrough. So there's another heart piece. And now that we got, ow, and now that we got the quote-unquote bad route done, even though it's still kind of a necessary route for 100% completion, plus that switch, we can now go back up and around to the other route. So let us do so. Oh shoot, I'm not wearing the mask. There we go! <laughs> but that, uh, moving that rock thing doesn't really, doesn't really do the thing that we need it to do. Um, that that we got. Well, you'll you'll see. <laughs> we we still need to. Yeah, this is. Oh shoot, that's uh, that's a floor master. It's this is a different duder. Yeah, when you destroy it, it'll split up into multiple pieces, and if you don't destroy those pieces, they'll turn into big floor masters again. I wonder how many you can make on screen at one time before it freezes. <laughs> if there's like a limit to it or something, I don't know. But okay, this is what moving that block did, I believe. It opened up that light, if I recall correctly. And oops, I just need to... Just need to, I say, there we, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, you, I guess you do absolutely have to take the uh, left one first. Then we're greeted with another friendly dancing show of Redeads. <laughs> Oh, that really is the best thing of this game. Alright, moving on. I, I don't have the heart to kill them. They're too much fun. Oh, no! Oh, no! What are we supposed to do about this wizard robe? Oh, I wonder. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to... 
I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to take off the regular mask, but eh, whatever, that's fine. Oh man, this this is gonna be so difficult. I I don't I just don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah, just as long as you're by the corner and you have full vision over the whole room, you're not going to have any trouble with the Wizrobe. There's a probably a harder version of the Wizrobe in the Temple 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 that's coming up, but uh, oh phase two, whoop de doo. <laughs> but uh, it's still not much harder than this one. The only reason why it's uh, oops, gonna shoot a little faster. The only reason why it's a little bit harder is because there's multiple levels that he can appear on. So yeah, it's even so, if you get yourself in good position, you can still see all the spots just fine. I wonder if it would be faster to defeat him if I use like fire arrows or something like that. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But all I know is I won. <laughs> Alright, let's go up. Well, I should. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. I was a little worried there for a second. <laughs> I shouldn't have taken off the mask because it's, it still still keeps me protected from uh, the ire of the Redeads. Okay, it's so now going through here. We're on the other side, inside the gates. See, this is uh, the rock that we moved, and that lit up that one side. I can actually show you this here because it'll actually let you jump down as like a shortcut back of sorts, I guess you could say. And uh, oh, what? <laughs> I just killed you guys! What? <laughs> and will the Rizro respawn? No, it won't. Okay. So I guess enemies respawn very quickly. <laughs> so it's not that big of a deal if you should accidentally drop down that hole, but yeah. It's just, just a hole. Don't be frightened. There's a lot of time to complete this castle. The castle itself is pretty easy. Uh, the boss, however, I kind of suck at. Alright, now this is the thing we need the powder keg for. Here, see, you always miss things like this. Take a look, the rocks are cracked here. So there's no real hint as to uh, what you can do to blast that open other than, you know, like, say if you wanted to try regular bombs, you do that, and then you drop a bomb there, and you're like, oh, that that that, that seemed to do nothing. Did, and you would try again, because it had some sort of wiggly wiggly, but it's like, nope, that doesn't work. It isn't until you think, ah, well, maybe we should try the powder keg plus Goron. And that's why you need to get this before you go inside the dungeon. Oh, here comes a Gwei. Maybe I can kind of bump it up. Oh, did you go over my shield? I was holding it up! <laughs> uh, I should probably shoot that to make it go a little faster. Or just, okay, never mind. Alright, now that that's opened up, you better put this mask back on. Because I guess the Reed Deads are probably going to respawn? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just get rid of these duders. And the sunlight will also hurt them as well, you know, as you're reflecting your shield into them. So, yeah, this is kind of a handy thing to have. And this is also a decent place to grind for rupees, I guess, if you think about it. Uh, yeah, so now that we got light in this room, what can we do with said lights? Of course, we can burn that block away. What did you think we could do with that? <laughs> Alrighty, now in this room is the main room, I guess you could say, and where the boss lies and the boss that I suck at lies. I'm glad I've got two fairies. So, get this out. Um, Let's see here. What might also come in handy? I don't think I need the Lens of Truth, but, hmm, 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 maybe the Bunny Hood? Okay, let's go in. <laughs> I'm just giving myself the best chance possible here. So if we go up to the throne there, we like, Oh, insolent one who has brought the unthinkable into a land as dark as Ikana. My servants have fallen namelessly before the light that guides you. So in other words, he's saying that he's weak against light. <laughs> They're weak against light. However, the darkness in which my servants live is, after all, fleeting. You shall see with your own eyes just what kind of thing true darkness really is! And we've got... Yeah, using L targeting methods while defending the unthinkable? What could that possibly be in a place as dark as this? What? What? What is this craziness? What? 
the, what? What? It's in, no, this this cannot be. Oh, <laughs> I had to show that once. <laughs> All right. It's so obviously burn away the curtain. And there we go. We've got light, and he's like, no. <laughs> now the thing that I have the most trouble with in this fight is actually setting them up to be hurt by this. So I'm just gonna kind of try and get both these windows open here. Oh, did I actually get you in the... Did he actually move into the sunlight on his own? <laughs> Alright, they're both open now. How you like those apples? <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, see, when they have their shields up, you can't actually shield them with that, but... Um, oh yeah, bunny hood. That'll, that'll probably be helpful. Okay, let's try and get them into a more vulnerable position here. Oh, whoop, whoop. That works. Kind of. There we go. One down. You gotta kill the other one uh, before it actually respawns. Ah, oh shoot! Ah, see, that's 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 what I kind of suck at with this boss. <laughs> I'm not really sure how to get the set up so that I can kill them both at you know in a quick enough amount of time frame. So this is gonna take me a few tries to kind of get the hang of this. Oh. Oh man, and, and they're, they're vulnerable for so little time, too. Maybe I should just do that. And I should, uh... Do this before the other one responds, hopefully! Ah! Well, that might be a strategy. Uh, no. Oh! Wait, wait, oh yeah! I got, I got them both to go down. Oh, wait, wait, I remember, I remember. You're actually supposed to use the light to burn their bodies. I forgot about that, yeah. Um, that, that makes more sense, actually. <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, because remember, on their, their, yeah, and you just make them va vaporize. <laughs> and then the bad boy himself is coming down. Oh no, now we actually get to hear Sick of using basic L targeting methods while defending. He's a different rank than those other two lackeys, though. Yeah, so, uh,. He's it's not really giving us a name now, are they? So I'm not not really gonna not really gonna say anything. Just <laughs> oh, aha! No, you don't. So this guy is uh, he's, uh, he's not exactly as vulnerable to light as the other ones are, if I recall correctly. And yeah, he'll get more and more aggressive as things go on, though. And oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh man, oh man, oh jeez. I'm not, uh, I, I wasn't, I wasn't in position. <laughs> uh oh, oh shoot. Oh shoot, oh no, not the head. Anything but the head. By the way, it shoots these massive lasers. And uh, yeah, that would kind of, kind of, we actually probably should shoot that. <laughs> oh, shoot, don't grab onto me. <laughs> Maybe the reason why I suck at this boss is because I never remember what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> that would make a whole lot of sense. Let's try it. Ooh. Oh. oh no, you don't. Oh, oh that actually worked. <laughs> is that a cursing thing? Uh, kind of. I don't know what it was actually. Oh, oh, oh. Take the, take that. <laughs> Come on. I just want to knock your head off again because I believe that's the thing that I need to do. Hold on, can I do like... Oh, no, that failed. <laughs> I just thought I would try it. I never tried that before. Uh, oh, what? My arrows! They're useless! Your head is so powerful! <laughs> okay, I should try... Uh... Mm -hmm. ah! Poopers. <laughs> I'm just trying to see here what my best option might be. Oh, no. Hmm. Hmm. I mean... Yeah, I completely forgot what I'm supposed to do with this duder. Ah, no, 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 no poison. <laughs> uh, okay, come on. Got some more information here. No, okay. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm? Oh, can I like, go around? No, no, I can't. You just turn your whole body. If you did that attack all day, I actually wouldn't be able to do anything to you. <laughs> I probably shouldn't tell you that, though. Okay, come over here. By the lights. I'm gonna try something with the lights. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm? Nope. <laughs> okay. Ah! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I got some. Oh, he's on the stairs, dang it. 
Hmm? Spin attack? Ah! Come on, man! Come on! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, I got that down, in theory. Okay, there we go, so you do have to burn his body, body. Okay, that was just terrible. <laughs> I mean, I played it terribly. You're blocking me, get out of the way, I can still get him. Ah, blocking you! The reason these BS is because they're so feeble. Don't blame this on me. Uh, just try saying that again to my bony face. Feeble! Feeble! <laughs> Shut up already! Ugh, don't look at me. I was once called the best swordsman in all of Akana. Greatest swordsman in all of Akana. You? <laughs> Draw your weapon. Just try to do it without hands, huh? I'm telling you to draw your sword! Da -da 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 -da. How? <laughs> this reminds me of Koyomi and Kotake, in a way. <laughs> Will you stop, what fools? Haven't you begun to understand? The kingdom being ruled and us left in the state. Isn't it petty little battles like this that have caused it? That is true, come to think of it. Leaving your friends and embracing that belief by forgiving failure. These feelings have vanished from our hearts. It all happened after somebody thrust open the doors of that stone temple. You who bring light into darkness. I am the king of Ikana Kingdom. Egdos du Ikana. The spell binding that had been cast upon us was broken by that light which you carry. Yay! To return true light to this land, you must seal the doors of the stone tower where the winds of darkness blow through. But Stone Tower is an impenetrable stronghold. Hundreds of soldiers from my kingdom would not even be able to topple it. They do not have the tolerance to handle such tedium. <laughs> it is far too reckless for one to take on such a challenge. And so, I grant to you a soldier who has no heart. One who will not falter in the darkness. You shall remember this song. I love that. <laughs> okay, that's the second best thing in the game. So write that down on a separate piece of paper so you don't have to go into your menu screens to uh, remember this song or completely memorize it on your own because uh, you're going to have to use this a lot. And I mean a lot. Ah, uh, it's Ben. We meet again after the memes. <laughs> I learned the Elegy of Emptiness. It's a mystical song that allows you to shed a shell shaped in your current image. That doesn't look much like Link, in all honesty. <laughs> By playing this song while wearing masks to assume different forms, you'll be able to leave up the four empty shells. One for each form. Yes, for each of your individual transformation masks. Zora, Deku, uh, Goron, yep. Plus human, of course. This soldier who has no heart is your twin image. It is not a shell of yourself that you will shed when your song commands it. And he's off. On my kingdom, shine the light of justice. Alright, so... Yep. Yep, it's over. It's over. This dungeon, it's over. And the boss, it's over too. Yeah, I can't believe I completely forgot all those steps to ye old boss, but eh, no. Eh, well, oh shoot. One more dance for the road. Because I'm gonna go save my game. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I'm over at the- Oh no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to! No! <laughs> this, is, this is a tragedy! <laughs> oh no, before the Link kills them off more, I'm ending up the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. I really should have gotten those rupees, shouldn't I? Hmm. Hmm.